when we are mixing two similar substances, like in this case, we have hot water indicated by the red H and the cold water indicated by the blue C. Okay, uh, the hot water has 200 gram, 80 Celsius, degrees Celsius, cold water 100 gram and 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, after mixing the two liquid, it seems like the hot water is going to lose heat uh, and also it seems like the cold water is going to gain heat. So there's a mechanism of losing and gaining here uh, which ultimately the mixture will achieve some kind of equilibrium temperature at thermal equilibrium. So what happened is we want to investigate that the fact that 80 Celsius could go down to a theta value which is lower so maybe the changes of the hot water will be 80 minus theta okay but as for the blue one it will be theta which is at a higher value than 20 minus 20 theta minus 20 so we need to be logical we can't be using theta minus 80 and 20 minus theta okay so what happened is uh, we come back to our calculation we should have the heat loss is the same as heat gain okay so we could just write m1 c changes of one m2 c changes of two the reason why I use C because both are the same substance, I can cancel off the similar liquid they were mentioned in the question. So M1 is uh, 0 0.2 kg. Even if you don't change, it's okay because both sides are grams, so you can cancel off their units quite easily. But I just use kg and uh, I'll just put in my 80 minus theta and I'll just put in my theta minus 20. And I realized that after some calculation, uh, you should be able to find out that 0 0.2 and 0 0.1 this is just 2, this is just 1. Okay, so 160 minus 2 theta equals to theta minus 20. So that will be 3 theta, if you know how to calculate it fast. 3 theta equals to 180. So you should be able to get 60 degrees Celsius as your final thermal equilibrium temperature.